it's loading. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, thank you so much to Study in the USA for hosting this Facebook Live session. Uh, so my name is Abby Gilbertson. I work at Edmonds College in the Office of International Programs. And I uh, just want to introduce uh, some of my colleagues to you who are talking tonight about two plus two and transferring. So I'll let them introduce themselves and then I'm just gonna hang out in the comments and just ask a few questions. So um, yeah, Elizabeth, Tom. <laughs> well, hi everyone. I am Elizabeth Lyon and I'm an academic advisor at Edmonds College. And I have an awesome job because I work with students at Edmonds who want to transfer to university and it's such a great um it, it's a great job it, it, it's just a great experience and i uh, i get to help students work with incredible universities including one of the universities um uh and one of the um advisors at that university who's also part of this tonight and so i'm really happy to collaborate with him and to share what he and I do together to help students in the two plus two transfer. So I'm going to let Tom introduce himself. Thanks, Elizabeth. And thanks, Abby. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Tom Paulson, and I work in the Office of Admissions at the University of Iowa. Uh, I was once a, a transfer student. I went to a community college and earned a two-year degree before transferring and graduating with a four-year bachelor's degree. And then I went on and got a master's degree so I can speak uh, at, from my perspective as a student. And I worked at a community college uh, prior to working at the University of Iowa, where I've worked now for over 20 years, uh, helping students uh, transfer, succeed, graduate. And uh, I'm excited to be here. Uh, so we have some things we wanna talk to you about tonight. Uh, we'll go through some questions, but we would encourage you as we go, uh, please feel free to post questions in the chat and we'll try to address them and uh, uh, spend the next 30 or so minutes together. So let's get started. Yeah. So yeah, the, I mean, the title of this, this session is two plus two. So that is the first question, you know, what is, what is two plus two? <laughs> um, so I'll um, speak and then I'll let Tom speak. But many students, um, start at a what, what we're calling community college with the goal of going to university and even though it's it's two schools community college and then university we look at it as one experience and one goal so it, it, it's it's two parts of one piece and and we have to work very closely together. So what we're doing at the college and helping the student is, is also what the university is doing. And the two of us need to collaborate and communicate so that it's a very smooth transition. Um, yeah, Tom, go on with that. Yeah, sure. There's literally uh, hundreds and hundreds of schools in the United States that you could start at. And a community college uh, often uh, is um, a smaller institution or at least have smaller classes than sometimes a university will have in the first year or two years. And it's often a way to um, go uh, get smaller courses or maybe some individual, more individual instruction. And, but as Elizabeth said, it's, it's all part of a four year degree, a, bat, a bachelor's degree, a, a a four-year degree in the United States is a Bachelor of Arts or a Bachelor of Science. And so a student would traditionally do two years at a place like Edmonds College and then two years at a place like the University of Iowa. But like Elizabeth is saying, uh, you don't want to go for two years and not have the right coursework and then take three years at Iowa or three and a half years. You don't want a two plus three, you want a two plus two. Um, so we're trying not to extend time to graduate. We want to mitigate or lower your expense uh, and make sure you're successful upon transfer. And so that's what two plus two means. And we work really hard uh, with Edmonds and uh, and you could start at a place like Edmonds and really transfer anywhere in the country. 
And you could start at other places and transfer to Iowa as well, I should say that. Um, but uh, like Edmonds and Iowa, we work very closely together so that the student has a very positive experience that they're taking courses that they do need, that they're not missing important courses that they should be taking. So if you're an actuarial science major, you might take this set of courses. And if you're a business major, you take this set, computer science, a different set, uh, English, et cetera. So we work very closely so a student can start and, and, and four years later graduate in one uh, consistent uh, experience. And, so and we, we each have questions for each other. Um, when, when students are with us at Edmonds, we often have questions for Iowa or a university. Um, what, what are the best classes here? What, what type of calculus should they take for mechanical engineering? Or what, what type of chemistry should they take for nutrition science? And likewise, university has questions for us. Tell us about the content of that course or tell us exactly what that is so we can determine if it's, if it's a good match and if there's a, a good smooth transfer. So from the get-go, from the very beginning, it's so important that the first school, the community college and the second school, the university are communicating and answering questions for one another, because our, our, our ultimate goal, all of us, is that smooth transition to get student where they wanna be. Yeah. yeah. And I, we just do it very well. Agreed. Some of the questions that we've prepared, we thought about what we would like to try to address in this session are the most important things students should know. Uh, and I'd say the most common questions are, uh, what should I take at the community college? How long will it take me to graduate? What type of resources are available at the community college and at the university? What type of support is available? Uh, are there agreements in place? And so we're gonna address some of those uh, throughout the session. But if you do have questions, again, please post them to the chat and we'll try to address them as we go. So, you know, what generally are universities looking for from students that start at a community college uh, would be one, one question we'd like to start with. So um, if a, certainly grades, your grades are, are, are the, of primary importance. Uh, you wanna uh, do well, you wanna work hard, uh, get good grades. We would uh, look at the courses, specific courses that you take. So as Elizabeth mentioned, uh, Edmonds College may have two different chemistry classes and nursing would require one chemistry and a pre-med would require another chemistry. So we look at, did you take the appropriate courses while you're there? All your courses would transfer, but you want them to transfer in the right way so it doesn't take additional time. And then English proficiency. Um, a student, for example, at the, if you were to transfer to the University of Iowa, you would have to um, perform on a TOEFL exam, IELTS, or if you had a 30, one year of college coursework at Edmonds um, with a 3.0 GPA, then we would waive that English proficiency. But we want to make sure that a student understands the language so they can understand the content of the course. And I would think that's probably true for most universities. You want to make sure you're academically prepared, that you've taken some of the right courses, and that uh, you understand uh, mm -hmm. the language. Would you agree with those things, Elizabeth? Absolutely. And I, I think um, the one thing that, that you and I and your colleagues at Iowa and my colleagues at Edmonds that, that we agree upon uh, sort of two principles to help the student in this one pathway is we want the student to start early and think ahead. So, so it, it's, it's not, it is not a, a segmented plan. It's an Edmonds plan and an Iowa plan. It's an Edmonds, Iowa plan or Edmonds University plan. And, and we want students st starting early, thinking about what is my major? What are the types of courses I might need to take? And then communicating with the university, what type of chemistry is that? Or what type of biology is that? And 
And it, it's just, again, like I said earlier, it's just very fluid. And um, that's when it works best, not for Edmonds, not for Iowa. That's when it works best for students yeah. is when we don't put interrupters in their pathway, that we are facilitators in their pathway. We want an easier transition, uh, increase your likelihood for success. And Elizabeth yeah. hit the nail on the head is early planning. Let's talk early and let's talk often. And if we do that, you should be very successful in this venture. And by being in this webinar, choosing to join us tonight shows that you're looking ahead. If you, uh, if you start to think about transferring to, uh, from a community college to a four-year institution a month or two prior to transferring, you've really missed out on an opportunity to get good information. So let's talk every semester while you're at Edmonds. Uh, I continue to I'll go to Edmonds each semester uh, one of my colleagues will go there each semester if I'm not there. And we talk, we meet one-on-one -on -one with students and Edmonds has great advising. Uh, they do their research. They connect students with people at universities to make sure that they're in the right courses. And it's very important. I think that's the key, really kind of the key point there is uh, early and often is really, really important. I have a question. Uh, so what, what are some questions students should think about when researching you know, say maybe they started at a community college and then, you know, their goal is to transfer to a four-year university. Like, what are the some of the things that they should be thinking about? Like, maybe they don't know where they want to go and yeah. what, what are some of the questions they could be thinking that's of? A, yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, there's all these choices and how do you start to narrow them down and mm -hmm. find the right school for you? So you started at uh, Edmonds community college, you're thinking of transferring to a four-year institution. Some of the things you consider, and you start to put uh, schools in buckets. Do you want to go to a big city? Mm -hmm. Do you want to go to a small town? Do you want to go to a, co what's a college town? That's what the University of Iowa would be as a, a college town, a mid-sized community where we're, we have 32,000 students in our community and 100,000 total people. We have three hospitals in our community, including a children's hospital, a university hospital, and a veterans hospital. And so there's lots of health care in our community. Uh, do you want big athletics? Do you want culture? Um, do you want what, what class sizes? What's your price point? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, cost is a very important factor. Uh, do they have your program of study? What if you were to change your program of study, change your major? We, are you allowed to do that at the school that you transfer to? Are they responsive to you when you're at the community college? What uh, do they help you prior to coming? And what is their English proficiency requirements? Do they have English proficiency? Do they have other international students? And if so, where are they from? And how, what supports do they have in place for international students? Uh, do they have student organizations uh, for international students? Do they have a community of international students outside of the institution, but in the, in the city that you're living in? What's the cost of living in that city? Those are all factors you think of. I think the kind of you start to make your list. First thing is, do they have the academic program that I'm interested in? Are they in my price range? What type of community are they in? I think you start with those and make early contact with the school. Uh, start to read what they have out there. If you have the resources to travel to the institution, that's always great, but not ne actually necessary if you can't do that. Um, mm -hmm. And then it'll start, you'll start to get a feeling and you'll start to, some schools will start to rise to the top and you take schools off your list because, you know, it's in a, I don't want a huge city or I don't want a rural community or I don't want, uh, you know, that mid-sized college town or I do want uh, a big city, you know, then things will start to rise to the top and then you narrow your list down, you start to apply, then you look for, maybe you'll get a scholarship opportunity at one of them um, or you know somebody that's a really important. If you know someone that's been there, it's another student that you can talk to. They can really give you the insight. I, you know, I can talk to you about this all day, but it's really best. And, and we can do this later. Uh, Elizabeth can do this at Edmonds. I'm sure of it. And I can do it at Iowa. If, you, if you're interested, and we'll give you some contact information later. We'll connect you with students on our campus so you can get a real um, perspective from them of what it's like. And so... I think those are some of the primary factors. What, am I missing something, uh, Elizabeth? I could not have said it any better. It's, it's like you took the words out of my mouth. 
Um, and I think the, the overarching theme of what you said, Tom, was that students start with themselves. What do, what do I want? What major do I want? What, what type of campus do I want? What kind of setting do I want? What kind of uh, budget do I have? So I, I, yes, just to say exactly what you said, students start by looking at themselves and figuring out what is a great setup for me. And there are thousands. I mean, literally, just in the United States alone, over 3,000 options. And so it, it's overwhelming for a student to try to look at all of them. So, but the one thing a student can do is start by looking at themselves and then let their own interests guide the approach. Mm -hmm. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's great. That's yeah. so awesome. Um, we, we are getting, we have a few questions already in the awesome. chat, uh, but before I get to those questions, uh, I, I thought it would be fun. We did this one time with our, another Facebook live session, but it's a, we're going to have a little trivia break right now. <laughs> so uh, for those of you joining us, trivia is just something like it's those um, fun facts. They're kind of, um, some are really interesting, but you know, it, if you know it, it's kind of like, it doesn't really, it's just something fun to know, something really interesting to, to know. Um, but it's uh, kind of also like kind of obscure knowledge. <laughs> so I tried to find, and in our, in our office at Edmonds College, we love trivia. We have this whiteboard where we write our questions and people try to guess um, what the answer is. So we're gonna take a little game break right now with uh, Tom and Elizabeth. <laughs> so I tried to find- Thanks, Tom. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. I tried to find um, some connections. Uh, something I found is uh, actually two of my trivia questions are agriculture related. Our states uh, are top producing in a lot of different like in, in ag. And so uh, my first trivia question is, so wash, So, if you don't know, Edmonds College is located in Washington State. We're in Linwood, which is um, just north of Seattle, really close. But um, so the first trivia question I have is, Washington State is famous for Starbucks. I'm sure you know that. <laughs> but it is also famous for being the number one producer of apples in the United States. So. What, but what are other two top commodities that come out of Washington State? Cherries. It's it is there. But it's it's not the top. <laughs> good good answer. I love I love rainy cher cherries that come out here. <laughs> Tom, any guesses? <laughs> I would say two, two top one. I don't know. I'm not. Sure. I don't know. It is uh, wheat and potatoes. Yeah, one of the, the two top, and it, uh, so the that one. And then um, my next trivia question is all also agriculture related. So Iowa is also top in agricultural production. So the red delicious apple also called the Hawkeye, I didn't, I didn't actually know this, know this, was first grown in Iowa in 1856. What else is Iowa the top producers of? Elizabeth, do you want to take a stab first? I'm, I was just going to say corn. Ooh, that is one. Yes, good oh, job, Elizabeth. Right. What is the other one? Soybean. Actually, I, I didn't look, but um, the answer I had uh, was pork. Uh, oh, there's pork. a lot of yeah, pigs, pig farms yeah. in Iowa. So Iowa is the top producers of corn and pork. Very yeah. interesting. Also, yeah. so those are the ones I found. And then the last one I found, this one's just really silly, is how long would it take you to walk from Edmonds College to the University of Iowa? To walk? To walk. <laughs> okay. Six months. <laughs> Elizabeth, what do you think? Um, 87 days. 
Actually, it would take you 619 hours, which is 20, about 25 days. And that is a Google estimate. So I don't know what the pace would be, yeah. but that's the Google estimate. <laughs> you want to add that? That's good stuff. There, there are much more efficient ways to get from, from Edmonds to Iowa. Okay. Yes, definitely. Can, can I talk about that a little bit? Yeah. I think that's good. That leads me to this. And I want, I want Elizabeth in the next round of this trivia. I, I'd lost the first round, but I'm coming for you the second round. Uh, and so I've been to Edmonds many times and it is just north of Seattle by car 20 to 30 minutes, maybe depending on traffic. So it's, it's right in the greater Seattle area and it's a beautiful, wonderful place. So I'm telling the students, if you're thinking of going to a place like Edmonds, I have, uh, you know, nothing to win or lose here. Uh, so I'm, I just tell you, honestly, it, I think it's a great choice uh, and, and you can get a great education I believe at a really great price and that their, their staff, their, in the international programs office are the ones that I work with closely. They do an excellent job. And at the University of Iowa, we are located in the central United States in, in Iowa, uh, Iowa City, Iowa. And we are a rural state, but we're a very cosmopolitan, eclectic uh, college town with lots of culture and athletics and live music. Um, and uh, hundreds of academic programs and one of one of the AAU institutions which means we're one of you know one of the highest ranked research institutions and to get from Seattle to Iowa uh, by plane uh, is probably about a four hour trip by plane uh, with a one layover traditionally um, and we are uh, have you know an airport 20 minutes from our door an international airport at the Eastern Iowa Airport so just if you don't know where we're located and what type of school we are and, the, and what it's like in the community at Edmonds in, this, in, a, in a beautiful city uh, with water all around. Um, that would be a little bit more about the two institutions. Um, as you start to try to narrow down your list uh, of what's important to you and where you want to go, um, those are a couple of things you can think about. And, I, and I'll be, uh, be the first to tell you, I, I, I understand that I was not the best place uh, for everyone. But if it is uh, the best place for you and you start at a place like Edmonds, we'll work with you. And, and Elizabeth and I communicate regularly and we'll talk and make sure we get you in the right courses. And wherever you go, that's what you need. So even if you don't choose Edmonds and you don't choose Iowa, but you do come to the U.S., you want to find a place that will work with you all four years. Lots of discussion where you build a community and, and a bridge from one institution to the other. So mm -hmm. those are the things that come to mind when we talk about you know, the state and what's in the state, what's in the community. I think those, those things are important. Mm -hmm. and Abby and, and Tom, I, I just have to make a comment because one of the things I was thinking about in preparing uh, to be here, I didn't know if it would uh, surface or not or come up, but we, we all, Iowa and Edmonds, we do a lot of great things and myriad community colleges and universities do awesome things you know we we all do but but i think there's something that maybe sets a couple of us apart and i think iowa is uh, one of those schools and i think edmonds is one of those schools and i i and tom hit on it we we want to help students figure out what is best for them. We, we don't want to tell students, come to Edmonds, come to Iowa. We want help to help students figure out, is that a good choice? And if the student determines it's a good choice, then we're, we're going to go all out to make it happen. But we never lose sight that these are real lives and real people and future careers and um, it's huge and it's a great responsibility. So I, I think Iowa and Edmonds share that, that we never lose sight that, that we're helping people make pretty important life decisions. Yeah. yeah. I think that's the that part, frankly, it's, it truly does. Uh, mm -hmm. We care about you as a student and, 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 when, and I say we, I mean Edmonds and the University of Iowa, we're gonna try to do what's best for you in every instance. So. 
Yeah. Um, so we yeah. can use this. I totally agree with what you're saying. That, it's a good lead into some of the questions we're getting in the chat right now. Um, some students are wondering, you know, um, in regards to support, uh, do you offer scholarships in your schools? So I'll start with that question. There's a few more, but we'll start with, uh, do you offer scholarships in your schools? <laughs> Would you like to go, Elizabeth, first? No, I'll let you go. Okay, we do have uh, transfer scholarships. We have uh, scholarships for international students as well. Um, so it will vary depending on your program, your GPA. Um, they are competitive. You'll have to do well at Edmonds to compete for those awards. But yes, we do. We do have some academic uh, scholarships for students. Uh, if you're a Phi Theta Kappa member, which is an honor society of the, of the two-year college, would be one. Um, we, there's a CARES Act, which is um, uh, some federal uh, money that was given to many universities when the, uh, this global pandemic hit. And so we use some of that money to support students. Uh, we, the University of Iowa received $8 million. So we, we designated that for students and, and they apply if they're having hardships. Um, but we have um, academic scholarships based on uh, the country you come from and, and the program that you're in. So uh, we can talk specifics about that when the time is here, but we do have some, uh, we certainly do. Mm -hmm. and, and Edmonds does as well. And um, I think the point that I want to make and make sure students understand, not only in looking at Edmonds or Iowa, or, but, but looking at any school, there, there are scholarships and discounts and, and uh, financial initiatives specifically for international students, and, and that's fabulous. But don't forget that there are other sources of money too, and it, it really doesn't matter if you're international or not. There might be um, a, a scholarship for someone interested in nursing or someone interested in um, business. And so don't lose sight that there are international financial incentives, but then there are other financial incentives too that you should look at both at community college and at university. Mm -hmm. yeah. One thing I'd like to say in regard to this question and, and, and then um, we could move on is that one of the things I'm most proud of at the University of Iowa is for 15 years in a row, we've been voted a best buy by the Fisk guide who uh, they uh, rank 20 schools that have high quality education at a reasonable price. And there's lots of schools that have really quality education, but they also have a fairly high price. And so um, you get good value for what you're paying for at the University of Iowa. And I'm really proud of that. And I hope we continue to get that designation. Um, I think it speaks to the, the type of education you get for the price that you pay. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, one of the other things I do at uh, Edmonds College at OIP is I also work with the International Student Scholarships. So right now we we have a new student scholarship that students can apply for um, and uh, uh, it's a $1,000 GPA based scholarship. So if you are a new student come fall you uh, have this opportunity and then uh, something we're doing too at Edmonds College for the 2020 to 2021 academic year is um, all new students, uh, if you're coming starting fall, um, we'll have a $500 tuition reduction automatically for up to two quarters. Um, so I'll, I don't wanna take too much about it, but yes, I'll, short story, yes, we do have, there's lots of scholarships and so I'll, we'll, have our contact information in the in the comments. And so if you have any more questions about that, uh, you can reach out to us. So the next question, uh, let's see. Uh, we'll start with, well, here's a fun one. Is it very cold in Iowa? <laughs> it does get cold in Iowa, it does. Um, yeah, it does get cold in December, January, February. We have all four seasons. We're gonna have some snow. Uh, it's pretty hot this time of the year. Fall and spring are beautiful, but yet you'll, if you were interested in some snow, you'll have some uh, three three months a year. Nice, yeah. It's kind of like that. Does it rain in Seattle? You know that <laughs> kind of question. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Let's see. Uh, what majors can I start at Edmonds College? That's a good question. Elizabeth? <laughs> I, I want to make, um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to say what I think that question means. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think that question means what, what do you major or study at Edmonds to go to a university? So if that is the question, and it's a very good question, um, and it's a hard question to answer. So let, let me think of an example. Uh, and, and, Let's let's say there's a student who wants to study chemical engineering at Iowa. Edmonds doesn't have a specific major in chemical engineering. However, that doesn't really matter because your major is mostly going to take place at university and what you're going to do at community college, all of the preparatory work and all of the required courses to transfer and join the major. So as you, as you look at any community college, Edmonds or anywhere else, don't worry too much if you don't see your specific major all preparatory work and all I'm, I'm gonna take a slightly different tact and answer yeah, that. Because that's a yeah. hard question. Yeah, it is. I, I, I think you can start at Edmonds no matter what your major is. Yeah. Whatever you want to major in. If you want to major in, in engineering, if you want to major in business, if you want to major in history, if you want to major in psychology, if you want to major in actuarial science, if you want to major in a language, if you want to major in the humanities, if you can do all of those things by starting at Edmonds. And the, and the key thing that Elizabeth and I've been talking about is that you need to talk to us early so we'll get you in the right courses. So when you go down that path, the, the business major will go down this path and the engineering major will go down this path and we'll get you on the right path. So you can start at Edmonds and it, it really any community college and and major in anything you want but while you're there you got to make sure you're you're getting good advice so that you're in the right courses when you transfer so it's not two years at Edmonds and three and a half years at Iowa or two years at whatever place you are and three and a half years at Iowa or wherever you go it's two and two and so yeah you can study virtually anything you want and start at Edmonds Community College. Mm -hmm. And I'll say one, one last thing on that, and, and we were uh, talking about this before we went live this evening. I actually was talking to an Edmonds student this afternoon who is transferring to Iowa this fall, and, and we're all extremely proud and excited about that. And when the student transfers to Iowa, he is going to be studying and majoring in international studies. And he's been admitted to Iowa and he's been admitted into that program. Edmonds specifically doesn't have a major in international studies, but, but the two schools work together along the whole path. So we, we both made sure that the student took the right courses at yeah. Edmonds. So he's, he's going directly into the major when he gets there. And we're all very proud of that. And that's a, a very real and actual example that happened this afternoon. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. yeah it is. It's great. That's awesome. That was it for the questions. Um, if anyone else has questions, feel free to put it in the chat. Um, let's see. You know, we have about five minutes left or so. And a couple of things that I'd like to say is that we work really hard to put resources in place for students. So uh, course equivalencies, uh, transfer plans, transfer pathways, so a student can start 
get involved, go to Edmonds, immerse yourself. You make friends, you're in student organizations, you're building this really rich experience and then you're in the right courses and and then you transfer to Iowa and you and you persist and graduate and launches you into a career. And there's just a lot of work that's done so that happens seamlessly. And you wanna go to a place, whether it's one of our institutions or elsewhere, that has a, a community that supports you, that has academic supports. Uh, uh, for example, we have International Programs Office. Uh, we have uh, mandatory academic advising. You can't, cannot register for classes until you meet your advisor and get your new passcode. And that's all to benefit the students. So you're, you get help and you don't feel that you have to figure this out on your own. There's university counseling. There is um, student disability services for students that have a physical or mental impairment and they need some help. Um, there, there's a huge web or net and I know it's true at both places, there's a web of help for you. Then if you just pull on that web, someone will help you. And um, that, those are the types of things you wanna think about or what, what are the resources they have so I can be successful upon my transfer. And that if I need the help, there's help there for me. And um, if you're just starting to, to consider coming to the US and those are some things that I would look at at institutions if you can figure those things out that'll help you down your path. Mm -hmm. And if I can just add on to that, Tom, because you just reminded me of something that you and I have talked about many times. Our, our goals at, at Edmonds, at, at Iowa, we're not recruiting new students. We're recruiting successful graduates. And so we, we never, lose sight of not not just who wh who you are as a student coming to us but where we're going to get you and that's paramount to all of us yeah it doesn't work if students are not successful so everything we're trying to do okay. is help students succeed yeah. that's right yeah and i think we do it quite well i agree yeah awesome great well um I don't have any more questions in the chat too, um, but um, thank you both so much for coming to the Facebook Live and uh, taking the time. And uh, thank you again to Study in the USA for hosting us. And um, I have I I will list in the comments the contact information for Tom and Elizabeth. So if you have any more questions that you think of later, uh, feel free to. Um, to reach out to them and so hope everyone's staying well and healthy so wherever you are watching good night good morning good afternoon all of that thank, thank you abby thank you tom thank you very much my thank best you everyone for watching. Yeah. <laughs> good luck to you all right bye -bye. Thank you. okay bye, -bye. bye.